Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Well, last time we started going through the optional Dragon's Den, and it's kind of like Kefka's Tower in that we have to switch between three different parties, and we've got Locke right here, and he's just kind of chilling on this tile, and it's open up the, opening up the store to the left there. Let's see how that works. So, let's have a par another party enter that particular tile. So let's switch over to party two, and I'm actually, for this part... I'm just going to use the Malubu's Charm, uh, the party that has Mog in it, because there are so many random battles in this area. The encounter rate is actually really high. And honestly, I just don't want to deal with it. I mean, you get some experience, but not enough to warrant fighting a ton of random battles, I think. Plus, you have to save a lot of your stuff for the different encounters that you're going to have to face in this area. So, okay, so with this party, let's go up. And that opens up a little area right below us, because that has to stay on that tile. So, Switch over to party three. Now let's get them entering the uh, the dragon's name. Okay, so you may recall that last time we picked up the final trump, which is Setzer's ultimate weapon there. So let's take a look at it. It's not bad, good attack power, and it gives a couple boosts to his stats there. So definitely going to want to put that on in there for sure. Now let's get equipment on everybody else here. Holy Lance. And there we go. Uh, and the Xantasukin, by the way, is the best weapon in the game for Cyan. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, let's get a Ward Bangle on, actually. So that we can decrease our encounter rate. That should be good. Um, and Miracle Shoes. We're not going to be doing a whole lot with this party. So, I and I really should... Actually, no, I'm sorry. With, with Edgar there, let's get him going in Dragoon mode there. Go. Uh, let's see. And Miracle Shoes. And let's get an earring for now. And Miracle Shoes. And how about a ribbon? Okay, that's fine. Very good. Okay. As far as Espers go, he doesn't need an Esper. He doesn't really need. He doesn't really need an Esper per se because you can't really get any magic points in this area. You might as well just put something on him. Uh, sure, and sure, okay, very good. All right, let's have this party enter the dragon tent. Okay, let's have them go up this way. And if you see that, yeah, these two rocks are open, so now we can just bounce across and pick up. Hey, oh, a rename card. Lovely. Okay. Okay, well, let's go back with this party. And now we want this party to go... Let's see. Um, okay. Let's go this way. Back in here. Okay. And we will basically want to go back to the, the area that we came. Okay. So let's see how this party deals with enemies here in the Dragon's Dungeon. Actually, this enemy is susceptible to death. So that's how we're going to want to deal with him. Yeah, I'll just cast death on him. Yeesh! Eh, not too bad. Regen will help with that. Alright, let's death this guy. Thank you! <laughs> Tried to cast Reflect, it's fine. Okay. And saving gains a level, very good. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay, so let's see how this party deals with the Great Behemoth. Basically, you just want to go all out with this party here. Um, let's see, let's have him cast... Yeah, Flare's good. Flare's pretty good single targeting attack. The Great Behemoth is actually pretty easy to deal with in this area. damage to him. Good shot there, Sensor. Well done. Not a whole lot of experience, but that's okay. Okay. And basically with this guy... Ugh. 
wish this board bangle would work a little better, but okay. So basically, we just want to keep on going through this uh, part of the cave here. And now let's go this way. All right. And now we want to go down this way, is that right? Okay, we've got a new enemy here, the Great Dragon. Now this enemy, I believe you can cast a stop on him. So we're going to want to get that going here as quickly as possible. There we go. And... Oh, he can snort us. Ugh, that's lame. But I believe we can cast thunder spells on him. Okay, good. Yeah, you can stop him there. Um, yeah, let's use play, because I think that'll work. There we go. Yeah, let's jump and take this guy out. Man, that flare is so good. This may be my main source of attack with Setzer there. Well, let's actually see what the final trump can do. Oh, oh, that's a pretty cool attack. I like that. Let me get a level for Edgar there. Very nice. Okay, I think I can get a chest if I go down this way. Yeah, okay. Let me get a high ether. Very nice. Not terribly useful, but... Yeah. Uh, something tells me that you may consume some MP for a critical hit with final trump. But that's fine. Uh-oh. Another dragon there. Hmm. I don't like that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. We're gonna switch over to this second group here. And now we want to get just out of this area. There we go. So now party one can start doing its thing. Okay, very good. Now let's go ahead and actually, uh... Before I do that, though, I get to Setzer's group. And I, it doesn't seem to be working too well, but I'm going to remove the ward bangle anyway. This area, by the way, is called the Burning Labyrinth. And this first area is called the Earth Labyrinth. So you can see that they've kind of related them there to... Uh, the different elements there. So, okay. Um, board bangles, so we can lower the rate of encounters. Okay, let's go here. Okay, and now we want to go out this way. And now we want to come back in here and back uh, up this way. And now we can start exploring this area. Now, you may notice that if we head up here, aha, there's a rock there that uh, our that was created by having our third party stand there. See how that all works? And if we go that or there, that will open up another path. So now let's go back to party number two, and we want to enter in here. Now basically we can walk around for a little bit, and since I got the Molulu's charm, I can not worry about having any random battles, which is a nice thing. And up this way, and just strolling and strolling, aha! Now see, these rocks are created, so now we can bounce over here, and now we're right here. Now check this out. If I throw this tile, that opens up that switch, and basically we have another dragon there, and now either one of these parties can face the dragon. But since we have not had a chance to fight a dragon with this second party, we're going to have them take a crack at this dragon. So give me a moment to get my setup already. I'm going to take some equipment from the other two parties, and then I'll be back once I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm all ready to go, so let's go over my setup here for the next part. Now, I'm going to ban myself from using the Master Scroll and the Ultimate Weapon with Terra because, really, I could just then defeat this guy in one shot. And, or two shots. Well, three shots. Three shots. Well, and two or three. And that's really no fun. And you, and you might not have the capability to do that. So, I'll give myself a little bit of a challenge here. So, let's go over the setup here. I've got my traditional setup there, Enhancer. I, I can't believe I forgot to equip uh, Celeste with the Minerva Bustier, and, but I remembered to put it on Terra, so. And actually, you know, for this part, I should put her in the back row. Okay, so, right there. We got everybody on Thunder Shields, because for this uh, next particular dragon, he's got a lot of wind-based attacks, and the Thunder Shield will nullify those. For Relics, we got everybody on Miracle Shoes and Hero's Ring. 
except for Gao, who's going to be, or for Mok, who's going to be doing some bleeping. So I've got the dragon boots on him, but then I'm going to put miracle shoes on him, because you want everybody to have protect and haste for this battle as well. For Espers, uh, I don't really care about Espers. The only ones I really care about are Fenrir and Gollum, because this guy has some really, really, really strong physical attacks. So, ne so now, let's just bounce over here, get into place. Now that I don't have any more random battle attacks to take him off, let's give him some Miracle Shoes. And now we're ready to take on this guy! Talk to him. And now it's time for a boss battle against the upgraded version of the Storm Dragon. Okay, first, first thing we want to do is we want to get some, get some buffs going on our party. So let's get the Earth Wall and Fenrir up, because this actually gives us a lot of additional defense, which is really nice. go. So basically what the Earth Wall does, it'll, it'll give you some extra damage, or, uh, or basically will get attacked, but uh, and some HP will look like it will drop, but it won't actually go down. And that'll happen for a little while, which is nice. Uh, in the meantime, let's start getting our normal uh, spells going, so let's get Flare going. Yeah, see, so it takes some damage, but I didn't actually lose any damage there. I don't think this is going to work with Interceptor. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work with Interceptor there because of uh, the Storm Dragon being flying in the air. Uh, does he happen to know Flare? No, he doesn't shoot. Uh, I guess let's just go with... I wish I had the Io Rage for Flare Star, but unfortunately I don't. Um, I'll tell you, you know what's going you know to be good is constant healing. Let's get the... Uh, where's Magic? That will be helpful. Let's get him going that way. Ooh, I don't like that too much. Yeah, unfortunately, he's got a really high magic evasion. So, you want to watch out for that, too. Uh, also, watch this. I can show you this, too. Uh, where is it? I know I have, like, 30 of these things. From doing some of my grinding, I ended up with, like... Let's see, where is it? Yeah, like, 33 in partisans. So I can start throwing these. Woohoo! Yeah, do a good amount of damage. All right. Uh, this guy, by the way, I can't do any status ailments on him, unfortunately. Yeah, so we want to try to take this down pretty quickly, because he does have some powerful attacks. Yeah, really high evasion, unfortunately. Yeah, Icarus Ring is one of them. Yeah, that would have done like 1,700 damage, but unfortunately I've got my Earth Wall up. So that's good. Okay, um, let's see. You know what? Fun dog of my work. Terra, unfortunately, isn't too useful in this battle. You know, what, you know what I could do, actually? That's not too bad. You know what I could do? Yeah, Leaf Swirl. This is a wind-based attack. And this can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. But this should do zero. Oh, it did a little bit. Oh, I guess it, it, gets it, it gets halves wind attacks, I guess. There we go. Okay, sweet. Um, see how much damage I do with Shurikens. Okay, so I, I, it looks like the Earth Wall is worn off a little bit. Oh, no, it wouldn't have happened because of the, of the uh, Earth Wall. Never mind. Um, eh. Let's just go with uh, Thundaga. That seems to be working pretty well. Um, I think this guy AI's, his AI script changes. Yeah, see, sometimes I can even miss, too. Uh, how much damage did I do it with Shuriken? I don't even remember. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so we'll constantly get some HP going. And it'll be good. Okay, Cyclonic, you want to watch out for this one. Woohoo! Yikes! Uh, I'm, I'm going to want to definitely heal up after that one. Yeah, so Cyclonic can deal like... Can, uh... Can, uh, take your HP down by things like 7 eighths or something like that. Or, but it's a lot, as you can tell. Okay, so the Shurikens were doing okay. Yeah, it's about 4,000 damage. Okay, cloaks himself in wind. So when he does that, his speed and his evasion is even higher, which is really annoying. So now we want to bust out the big guns. Uh, let's do Impartisan there, because I don't think this will miss. Yeah, see, so that'll still do a lot of damage. And I'll get in some extra shots. Um, let's see if I can equip the ultimate weapon. Let's see if that'll help. Uh, let's see, where is it? Where's the ultimate weapon? 
Hit him. I guess this might... Okay. This might not work. Let's try it. And unfortunately, you can't cast slow on him. So yeah, just start chucking him partisans. You should be all right. Go. Well, he can get some extra damage with Holy. Sweet. And there you are. Not bad. Yeah, so see, even the ultimate weapon misses sometimes. So a sniper eye would actually be good. I might have put a sniper eye on Terra in this fight, but oh well. Okay, so let's go back to, uh... I guess let's go back to Daga. Yeah, just keep chucking the partisans in this guy, eventually we'll go down. Come on. Ugh. Crazy to think that a magic attack can miss in this game. There we go, got him. Woohoo! That is a trick and dri tricky dragon there, BTS Buster. So... You definitely want to watch out for that one. There you are! Very nice. And for defeating it, we get the Longinus. And the Storm Dragon has been slain. Very nice. Let's see what opens up. Ooh, there's an area we haven't been yet. Wow. All right. Any other areas open up? Nope, that's it. But the seal of wind is broken. Wait, did somebody break wind? Did somebody fart? Ugh. I hope not. It's not a fan of that. Okay. Now what we want to do is let's get, let's get the Molulu charm back on. And just for consistency's sake, I'm actually going to keep this party uh, for what we need to do next. So let's bounce across here. All right. And now what we want to do... Oh, by the way, the Longinus, what that does, is it's actually a spear. And... Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me uh, sort my... Sort everything there. The legendary spear. I guess Edgar's the only one can equip it. So pretty good attack power. The only downside to it is that it lacks the uh, double multiplier on jump that all spears have. So you know when you when you have a spear and you use the jump attack, it basically doubles the damage. But that doesn't apply with Edgar. So unfortunately, the holy spear is actually more useful. So anyway, very nice. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Make sure want to go this way. So we go up here. Yeah, we've got a new area that we can explore and check out. Uh, I believe next we want to go is up here. All right. Yes, and look at that. Just like that, there's another dragon. Okay, and if you'll notice, we're now in the Earth Labyrinth, so you know what's coming up next. So let's go over the setup for our next part here. Basically what I've done here is now I've got angel wings on Mog, because for this part, I want at least one person always in the float status, no matter what. Everybody else still has Miracle Shoes and Heroes rings. The only other change to the setup is everybody now has Gaia gear on, because you know what is coming next. So, let's take a step, talk to this guy. And now it's time for a boss battle against the Earth Dragon. Now, 50 Gs. I believe this is an Earth-based attack. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so basically, he's basically going to go into a bunch of Earth Elemental attacks, but if I have Gaia gear, that really makes this a lot easier. Now, unfortunately, he will be able to heal himself with the Quake status element, so that's the only downside to this. He's weak to both wind and water-based attacks, so let's get Wind Rap City going so that I can get some healing going, as well as... Uh, as well as get some wind-based attacks. And Gao, let's have him... Um... How about... Um... Oh, I know what I want to do. Because I want to do, uh... Where's the... Guard Leader. For Wind Slash. Now, 50 Gs... They say, you know, that attack... I'm actually not even sure what 50 Gs does. To be honest with you. And I'm okay with using the ultimate weapon here with Terra to do straight nines. Well, I can do straight nines of damage no matter what. So I'm not even worried about that. Okay, I'll have to do as much damage as I want, but that's alright. And just physical attack. There we go. That's good. So yeah, so if he detects that anybody has a float, a float status ailment... Well, I know what 50 Gs does. It, uh... 
it basically, if you don't have auto float on, it will, uh, it will nullify float. It's basically what that does. But as long, but the angel wings bypass that status element. So as long as one person is in the float status, then he will automatically go into that mode and start casting earth elemental attacks. But if you have the Gaia gear, that's easily dealt with. And that's basically the strategy for this fight. Mog will keep healing. And using Wind Slash, you just heal when you need to, attack with Terra, and that's it. And eventually this guy will go down. Yeah, so as long as you know how to deal with the dragons in this, you should be okay. I'm use Magnitude 8, which will heal us. Actually, let's get a Water Scroll going. Since he's weak to both Wind and Water. I wish that he didn't heal himself in this, because I don't and I don't think he's vulnerable to anything, is he? Let me double check this Nope. Like you can't cast float on him or anything like that. To nullify that. There you go. There's a water scroll. Yeah, good job. Okay. Now watch out for this. Savage is an attack. Yeah, Earth Dragon becomes enraged. So now he's pissed off at us, and now he's gonna start attacking. Yeesh! Ow! Quit it! Yeah, so he'll attack at us a couple times. So now he's going to start getting a little more dangerous with his attacks. Yeah. <laughs> so like that did a lot of damage there, so you want to watch out for that. Probably going to heal up here with Terra. So I don't think he goes into his... Oh, boy. Did she go quick? I just, uh, yeah, she knows quick. So we can get a double arise going. Ew, jeez. Ow! Wow. Okay. Hey, I always forget about quick. You know what I should have done is I should have put the, uh, the soul up there. Well, I'm not using magic for this fight, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, let's use arise. Uh, let's see. Who are going to be my two main people? Yeah, let's get Shadow going. Let's get him up and running. Yeah, the, the dragons in this den actually produce a ch uh, somewhat of a challenge, so I don't mind having one person who's completely buffed out to kind of balance out everything, because you kind of need a tank in each party. Plus, you need to have the paladin shield, in my opinion. Okay, there we go. Very good. Uh, let's see, and you know what? Uh, let's get... Let's get two people in healing mode. And let's see, we want to get quick going here. There we go. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to take this turn to get my party up and running here. Okay, so let's get Arise, let's get Mog up. Okay, I probably should have quick. And then do a double attack. I guess that's not really cheating. I don't think. And I need to get some MP back, so let's Osmos. Okay, good. Now we're up and running. Now, let's, now we can go back on the offensive. There we go. Okay, good. Block it. Yeesh! Wow. That is that savage attack. Wow. Okay, we got him. Whew! And there you are, and that's how you defeat that guy. He only has... Well, he has 58,000 HP. So, definitely want to watch out for that. But that savage attack, man, that is dangerous. There you go. Got him. And for defeating him, we get the God Hand. Whew. The Earth Dragon has been slain. What does it open up for us? No, we haven't been down that path yet. That's cool. All right, there we go. And the seal of Earth has been broken. All right, very nice. So let's uh, let's get the Malulu's charm back on. Yeah, and uh, let me check my time real quick. Okay, it turns out I'm definitely almost out of time. But there are three dragons down, five more to go. What special powers do those other dragons have? You also wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog, 
Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.